How's it going everyone? My name is The Starks and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about Horizon Zero Dawn, Horizon Zero Dawn 2, um, and the PlayStation 5 and how Horizon Zero Dawn 2 um, is going to play a role in the PlayStation 5. Um, and, and so I do have a couple articles here that I'm going to read off of. I'll have both of them in the description below for you to read. So the first one um, I'm going to read now is basically, uh, you know, it was talking about Horizon Zero Dawn 2 and a job listing which was posted a couple of days ago. So it quotes that the, the idea of the fantastic post-apocalyptic Horizon Zero Dawn getting a sequel is something many gamers have been dreaming about since the first game dropped. Um, uh, what seems like a lifetime ago in 2017. But thanks to a recent swirling of rumors and insider wink wink nudge nudge, uh, it seems we could be on the cusp of such an announcement. A bunch of new job listings via Games Radar from Guerrilla Games, uh, the team behind the first Horizon Zero Dawn and the Fantastic Killzone series, have been posted with one seeming to explicitly point to the fact that uh, development of Horizon Zero Dawn 2 is underway. The listing is for a technical vegetation artist which calls for the successful candidate to undertake the creation of vegetation assets that are used to dress the game's world. So far, so normal. Um, however, the posting goes on to say, Within Guerrilla, we have four teams dedicated to creating uh, the stunning uh, environments of Horizon and one team focused on the creation of lush and stunning vegetations. Um, so, you know, of course, you know, that obviously pointed towards, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, of course. Um, the only, the, now, a lot of people are pointing to Horizon Zero Dawn 2. Now, I know that the first one does have a couple of DLCs, either one or two, and this could imply a new DLC, but do I think that's possible? Of course, it's a possibility, but I don't think that's actually what's happening here. What I think is um, based off of you know the sales of Horizon Zero Dawn, which I'm about to get to in a sec. Um, I do think that they are gearing to, uh, towards making a, a second game for Horizon Zero Dawn. So this article here talks about the overall sales. Um, so this is an article from a long time ago in February, in fact, and it says that you know Horizon Zero Dawn has sold over 10 million copies worldwide in two years. Um, so, you know, it, it has sold, you know, 10 million copies worldwide, and uh, that's up from 7.6 million reported for uh, 2018, which seems to have sold approximately 2.4 million additional units. Um, now, of course, you know, this is a, a huge milestone, and the reason it's a huge milestone is because it is... It is, in fact, one of the best-selling um, first-party games, as well as the fact that it is a brand new concept, a brand new I, um, IP for the PlayStation 4, and the fact that it was able to entice so many people to buy this game is incredible. And Sony would want to capitalize on on that specific sale number, um, hopefully for PlayStation 5, because listen, PlayStation 4 had some some games during launch. They had, you know, uh, Killzone. Which actually is funny is from the exact same people who made Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, they also had you know the, the occasional uh, NBA, you know FIFA stuff like that. They also had Knack, um, which was apparently a decent or okay game. And so they had they had a few games for launch, but not a lot. They didn't have any of the big first party games really. Um, you know you could argue Killzone, but I, do I think that's big? Not really. Um, I heard mixed things re regarding Killzone. I've never played it myself though. Um, and Horizon Zero, Ta uh, sorry, Horizon Zero Dawn, to many people, is an exceptional game. Um, I myself, uh, I, I don't really want to comment necessarily on that because I don't want to be negative. Um, did I enjoy the game? I mean, it, look, it was beautiful, but I, I felt like the gameplay and the, the, the open world exploration aspect of the game is what is where it suffered. Well, other people didn't think so, but... Um, you know the fact that it sold so many copies within the first two years of its its launch is incredible, and I think Sony would want to, like I said, capitalize on that success to entice people for the PlayStation Five. Because based off of, um, in my opinion, I don't think the, there's going to be the exact same projections for PlayStation Five. Whatever the amount of features they have with PS Five. I don't think that can compare to how successful the PlayStation 4 was with, within, one, the first 24 hours of its launch, as well as the lifetime so sales. I know it's over 100 million, I believe, PlayStation 4 consoles, um, and that was since 2013, of course. Um, now, I got my PlayStation 4 a year after its launch, so 
Um, but but I felt like I just got it the other day. And while I technically did get my a new PlayStation 4 just a year ago almost for Black Friday, that, that doesn't really matter because I've had it for so many years and it still feels brand new. I don't think the PlayStation 4 has hit its, li- its total lifespan cycle. I honestly mean that. Like, 2020 just doesn't seem like the year of PlayStation 5 or the next-gen consoles should be released. But I know they're probably going to release, you know, uh, the PlayStation 5 for 2020 as it's been announced. And if they're going to do that, I think having a, a, a sequel to arguably one of the best-looking, uh, best-selling um uh, you know, first party new IPs uh, to, to join the PlayStation uh, exclusive, uh, uh, you know, library is something that Sony should consider doing because it will entice people to get it. I've heard that the PlayStation 5 price tags is going to be incredibly expensive. Like I'm talking very, very expensive. And, you know, so many people still have yet to get a PlayStation 4. Some people have just gotten their PlayStation 4. Some people are going to get their PlayStation 4 for this holiday and to, you know, for, for them to now have a new console come out a year from now almost is, do I, essentially, I don't think that the sales are going to match the PlayStation 4 sales. I honestly mean that. And I think having Horizons Zero Dawn as its first party launch launch title to, to, to really help and push out uh, and entice people to get the PlayStation 5 is going to help PlayStation 5. It's going to help next-gen PlayStation console. And I'm excited for that fact. Um, I'm also excited to see how Horizon Zero Dawn will look. Uh, you know, vegetation, te- technical vegetation artist is, is a very wonderful job. You know, Horizon Zero Dawn, like I said, was a very lush um, and beautiful and colorful world. And imagine that on possibly 4K resolution with ray tracing and, and smooth performance and graphics. On the PlayStation 5 is going to look phenomenal, and I'm excited for that. Um, and I hope that they also bring you know other games to the table for the launch uh, window for PlayStation 5 to, like I said, entice people to get the PlayStation 5. I know there are going to be backwards compatibility options with the PlayStation 5, but there's not going to be backwards game compatibility. Um, I don't know if Horizon Zero Dawn uh, 2 um, uh, is just going to be a PlayStation 4 game, and if so, that will or sorry, PlayStation 5 game. If so, that will, like I said, very much influence people to get a PlayStation 5 rather than, uh, you know, spending the majority of their time on the PlayStation 4. So it's really interesting because, you know, like I said, I, I want to see the projection for PlayStation 5 sales to be great. Um, and I also want Horizon Zero Dawn 2 to, to get the promotion it needs to, like I said, um, just be as successful as it possibly can. You know, I, I love PlayStation. I love their games. Um, not all of their games, of course, but I like most of their games, and and I want their games to be successful on, on uh, in however way, shape, form uh, it can. So it's very exciting, and I and I can't wait for a formal announcement for Horizon Zero Dawn two, just to see how it looks, as well as um the PlayStation 5 because technically I mean while we've gotten like an article I don't think that was really a formal uh, announcement rather than an informal one just to say hey we are working on something Um, here's what we're working on 2020 get hyped but that's a year from now right so it's going to be interesting to see what happens on PlayStation experience if we have it this year Um, and yeah so let me know your thoughts comments and opinions regarding Horizon Zero Dawn, have you ever played that game? If so, did you like it? What would be the score you would give it? Um, what What are your hopes for Horizon Zero Dawn 2? Try to keep it uh, spoiler free or just at a minimal because I haven't finished the game. Uh, like I said, I didn't really like it, but um, other than the fact that it looked beautiful. Um, and yeah, so I'm curious and, and I'm also curious to know what your thoughts about how Horizon Zero Dawn 2 can really help the PlayStation 5 sales. Do you think that is... A, something that uh, definitely Sony should consider, um, d- uh, you know, having for the PlayStation 5 launch. Um, because, like I said, you know, if that price tag is real, I don't think it's going to really... People aren't going to be influenced or, or very, um, you know, excited to get the PlayStation 5. I know I won't be because, like I said, I got my PlayStation 4 just a year ago almost. So, I'm, I don't want to spend another 500 to $600 on a new console um, because that's a lot of money. Um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Uh, remember the articles are in the description as well for you to read on your own. And with that being said, I've been the Starks. Thank you for watching. Peace.